Hey everybody, this is Perch, and I'm honestly asking this question. Some of you may think I'm being passive aggressive, or I, I have an answer, but I'm honestly asking because to me, this strikes me as inconsistencies. And maybe, you know, for some of you can say, no, it's not inconsistent at all, and you'll, you know, roll your eyes and that's fine. But for other of you, maybe it will allow you to stop, kind of take a moment and recontemplate this thing. Um, here's, here's kind of two things that I hear on a regular basis on this channel, often by the same people. Okay. Well, number one is that, uh, this, this cancel culture, this idea that we're going to look into old tweets and we're going to bring them up and we're going to parade them around and get people fired. And that kind of stuff is, uh, is, is ruining a lot of things, entertainment, culture, comics, all this stuff that it's, that's terrible for us. Um, that you shouldn't, you know, you should be able to be, make mistakes. You should be able to say things that are wrong and you shouldn't have to have them constantly hung over your head, that people shouldn't be playing gotcha with every single thing you write, that freedom of speech is an important thing. Like Gina Carrero with her, her comments and then she gets booted off Mandalorian and that was wrong of Disney to do that and she should be allowed to have her own feed and say what she wants. Okay. That's, that's one side, not side. That's just one thing I hear a lot. And for what it's worth, um, I do agree with a lot of, you know, that point of view. I think that people need to be allowed to make mistakes. I think people need to be allowed to say goofy, dumb things. I think that if you're constantly looking to play gotcha with everything, and even worse, if you're taking things wildly out of context because some time passed, I think that's, that's lousy. I think we all have better things to do. You know, that, that whole comment about that doesn't age well. Well, I mean, nothing ages well, really. Wine. But even give that enough time and it will also turn to vinegar. I think there's, you know, just if you're going to be playing this, let's let some time go by and, you know, wait to see until this thing becomes uncomfortable and then point at the person and laugh. I think that's wrong. Okay, so that's that's one thing I hear. And then very frequently, the same exact people will bring up uh, tweets and comments uh, from uh, comic creators as reasons why they are terrible people should not be working in comics. The ones I see the most often are the Mags Visaggio, I'm going to what I'm going to break the guy's teeth with a baseball bat. Uh, the Alana Smith, uh, we will remember who you are even if Trump loses. Uh, some of the various things, usually about Trump. Um, and people are still bringing up that Mags baseball bat to the teeth comment. Uh, it's, it's 2021. She made that in 2017, I think 2018. It's, it's like, it's been like four years, five years. Um, I admit I don't get why I don't get how both of those things can be true. I don't get how on one hand we say we shouldn't be going back into everybody's past and doing all this. We shouldn't be nitpicking everything that people say. And on the other hand, that mags thing, which it, unless I'm wildly, no, I'm not mistaken. Mags has apologized and I believe deleted that tweet and, and said that was a wrong thing to do multiple times. Now, who knows if she actually felt that in her heart? I've seen some people say, well, yeah, she apologized, but she still believes it. I mean, may, maybe so. I, I'm sure. Why, why not? But the point is, why is it that people keep bringing up that Mags tweet in 2021? Whether she's apologized or not, at some point, is there a statute of limitations? Is there a point where it's like, all right, we're going to move on? I mean, it's just going to sound really cruel and, and cold hearted, but the comic industry has largely moved on from Mags. If you're still bringing that tweet up, I mean, Mags is not on really any books right now. I'm sure there will be a, another Mags book out at some point, but like Mags is not writing Superman. Mags is not uh, writing one of the X-Men titles. The whole X-Men office has made a very big deal about having you know, diverse writers and, you know, uh, non-binary writers and everything else. Uh, Mags is nowhere to be seen in that mix, even though Mags was one of the most, uh, I mean, one of the bigger name kind of trans writers for a while in, in this business. I mean, obviously there have been many before, Rachel Pollock being, you know, one of the greats for sure. But, you know, if you're going back to 2017, Mags is getting lots of books and or, or was getting projects, uh, certainly from a lot of the companies, but it's 2021 now. There aren't books out. What are we even doing at this point? When I see somebody bring up that uh, baseball bat to the teeth tweet, I'm like, I mean, really? 
what what do, I guess is my question. I've got lots of questions. <laughs> my, my, one of my questions is, what do what do we want it done at this point in twenty twenty one? What what are we looking for? Because some of the people who bring that up say things like, uh, this person should not be in comics. So, okay, we do want to run people out of things. We do want to cancel people permanently for things. Is it that we, if, if you know, Gina is going to be canceled, we, we then need Max to be canceled as kind of an even trade? I, I'm, I'm just not quite getting it. Because to me, it seems like if you absolutely despised you know, Mags's writing and Mags's personality back in 2017. Well, you know, there, there really aren't comics, you know, and Marvel and DC are not putting out stuff with Mags. So what, what, you know, haven't you, you, you kind of, if you were annoyed by that, you kind of got your wish, right? I, I mean, I'm just asking here because as we, I mean, it, it's a dodgy thing. So please, for everybody who wants to come in and then tell me, oh, this is why, you know, there's always, there's always this stuff. I'm, the contradiction I see is that if history has shown us nothing, because, I mean, people bring up the Max Bemis uh, feast on my ass tweet, and I think uh, what, um, oh, the, the Gabby Rivera's uh, various I want to make you uncomfortable tweets. They're, they're you know, where is Gabby? Where is Max? I mean, I, I think Max is doing some small comic. Gabby's in theory around somewhere. Uh, but none of these people are doing big books right now. So time took them out. Ultimately, whether they wrote those tweets and everyone cared or no one cared, um, they don't have comics right now. They did not move enough numbers of comics to stick around. I, I mean, you know, right now, uh, you know, a lot of people are upset about Vita. Vita's got static. Static is not blowing the doors out. Uh, New Mutants is not not doing great. Where, where do we think this is going to go in five years? I mean, I'm, I'm just, I, I, I just, is it worth caring about some of this stuff when it gets taken out? And I know I've, I've asked part of this question before, and people say, of course it's worth caring because once, you know, one of these people goes away, somebody new comes in that treats the customers like shit again. And okay, I'm with you. I do think there should, uh, I, th- I do think, just pragmatically, forgetting everything else, creators should try to get along with their customers. I think it's it's they're they're shooting themselves in the foot more than anything. Which again, I think history has shown us. But what do people really want? Do you want people canceled when they say this kind of stuff? Do you want them run out of the business? Like again, I, somebody just a couple days ago brought up the Mags tweet, brought up the Gabby tweet. And said, look at look at what these people are saying. Brought the Alana Smith tweet saying about even if Trump loses, we will remember you. What what do we want to do? I, I mean, I'm serious. There people always bring up the same tweets because there usually aren't that many more. Now that's kind of ironic because I mean, Mags posts all kinds of crazy shit all the time, but it's the baseball bat to the teeth one that everybody loves to regurgitate, and it's like, do do we want to hold her accountable? for that tweet and that's it, you're done in the industry or not. And if we say, yes, we do, and that's fine. It's your opinion. You can say whatever you want, but if we say, yes, we do, then we are saying that, yeah, actually we do want some form of cancel culture or consequence culture or whatever you want to call it. But if you, if you're on the other hand, if you're saying, I don't think it's right for people to be you know, persecuted for one thing they said, then why are we bringing up mags tweets again in 2021? I'm, again, I'm just asking. I'm sure there's some logical way somebody can explain to me, but I think you, it feels like you got to kind of pick A or B. Unless, and, and and by the way, I think there's nothing wrong in having inconsistencies or hypocrisies. Almost everyone is a hypocrite at some point in their life. We can all deny it, but a lot of us do it. A lot of us say one thing and then do the other thing. That's not uncommon. It's kind of human nature. Maybe one thing we can just, you know, people can admit to themselves is to say, yeah, I want people, I I want there to be consequences. I want there to be cancellation when people say things that I don't like. And I want for people who say things I do like to be spared. I want them to get second and third chances. I want them not to be persecuted. Basically, if they agree with me, they're good. If they don't, they should be gone. 
And somebody, I was talking with someone in uh, an email uh, a couple weeks ago, and they came, they said basically that. They're like, look, I, I'll just admit, I want more people who think like me, and I want less people who do not think like me. And so the people who do not think like me, I'm happy for them to get rolled out of the industry. And people who do think like me, I want them to be saved and protected. And it was refreshing, to be honest. It was just refreshing for somebody to just come out with it and say that. Because it, it, I think that is what several people think. I think that is what, what goes through people's minds at times. And, you know, hell, admit it. You know, <laughs> seems, seems, uh, seems healthier. Anyway, let me know what you think about all this. Um, and again, I'm not trying to stir up trouble. I'm not trying to get a bunch of people to say, ah, oh, you don't understand, Perch. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying, you know, doesn't this seem slightly inconsistent to anyone else? It does to me. Let me know your thoughts below, and thanks for listening.